And in the front nine, we saw a bevy of lead changes and stroke. Well, not maybe not lead changes. Gosh, but strokes gained and lost by both teams. Mostly, well, I mean, really, Ian thinks it's mostly lost, which I guess is true, but also mostly won. So it was, and you know what? It was exactly even because we've got a tie game going into the back nine. Here we are on hole 10 at Fountain Hills. Michael's lining up the lefty sidearm. Just, he's getting it. He's feeling it right now. Look how much room I have. Right down the center of the fairway. All sorts of uh, elements on this hole. We've got wind and we've got the slick tee pad. But Jerry just fights through it. Beautiful hyzer line. Just crushed. He's a little short, but he's inbounds. He's down the fairway. Not bad. Yep. <laughs> Johnny Disc off with a with a pretty good point over here in the peanut gallery, just saying that if that line with Jonathan Gomez power, that'd be parked pretty much. So let's see what kind of black magic did he just do right there? Usually on the basketball court, you see the guys uh, wipe the bottom of their shoes off to get a little more grip. Jonathan's going. This is not going to work next year. Ooh, calling him out. Yikes, look at the moonwalk just That's not a good tee pad. flexing the moves. That's not a good tee pad. Yikes. Not. All right, okay. But doesn't matter, no fear. Even on a less than ideal tee pad, Jonathan just rips the flex shot over the trees. He's over the hill. About the tee pad on that. That's where I got that power from. But seriously, that is a really bad tee pad. You heard it here first, folks. Sometimes those uh, less than average tee pads, though, as we saw there, can get the players a little fired up and uh, could help them out. But Brian for Central Coast going with a not. A <laughs> Oh, man. And the signature roller. And we got, look at that. The crowd is just loving it. The crowd is loving that roller from Brian. He put Central Coast possibly in circle, too. They could have a birdie run, birdie putt, whatever. Ian. Ian going uh, a little straight, but he's... Oh, a little short, and he's just his, his rolling luck is just yeah, continuing to go downhill, both literally and figuratively. Oh, Corey going with the sidearm roller. Whoa, catches the curb. Could it catch the? Oh, and unfortunately, the sidewalk over there is as slick as ice, and that thing is OB. They're a little outside circle, too, it looks like, but Corey. Going for the putt through the tree. No, and it's oh, just right off the tree, just a few inches higher, and that might have that might have gone in. Let's let's just say it. It that was definitely going in if the tree wasn't there. Brian going with the aggressive forehand skip shot to get around the tree and hopefully hop in the basket. Not exactly what he was looking for, but that's all right. Look at that smile. He's just loving life. Hard not to love it out here at Fountain Hills. Looks like Ian's going for the trick shot as well with the skip. <laughs> he gives it a real good run. That thing almost got in there. Going with the straddle. Oh, comes up just a little bit right. And not exactly sure what he was going for there. But that's all right. He gave it his best, best shot. Gave it a good old college try. Gave it a good old... Community College try on that one. And for everybody at home, there is a tree directly in front of the basket, right in the line of the birdie attempt by both teams, really. And on the back nine, we've got, we got a 
tie ball game, even though there are no balls being used. Ooh, Jerry! Oh, splits the tree limbs, but comes up a little bit left. And yeah, that will. Jonathan's got some maneuvering to do. I think, oh, it looks like he might be setting up the skip shot, taking a page from Central Coast book. Wouldn't be the first time. Ooh, ouch. Going for the skipper, and he does it! It's in there! Oh my gosh! Skip shot right around the tree. Wow! Oh, and he just dances on him, hitting him with the dance moves. Wow. Birdie from at least 60 feet. Oh, oh, you looking at, you seeing this? You looking at this? You looking at this? You seeing this? Go for it. Two sides. Wow. And after 10 holes, the Jomez Pro crew is just riding this wave of momentum. They've gained four strokes in the last five holes to go up one on Central Coast. And here we are on hole 11. And just when you thought the wind and the water was enough, we've got dogs and little girls just really trying to get in these competitors' heads. Let's see if Michael, he's, he's got a lefty line going here. Boom. Mm. Doesn't, doesn't quite get it to flat, but triples format, once again, I'm just going to keep going back to that. He's laying the foundation, ladies and gentlemen, for this game plan that Jomez Pro Crew is really starting to hit their stride with. Good snap, but it's just getting on, a little stable on him. Let's go. Oh, that, if that doesn't sit, that's going to go OB. Oh. And we will have to see. Uh, the spotters from the weekend have, have gone home. We don't know whether or not that's inbounds or out. And Jonathan just flexing the big arm. Ooh, he's up there. Right Over behind there. a tree, yeah. Right behind some trees, loving it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what the we'll see what they've got up there. They're they're within within range. Maybe another skip shot. Who knows? Corey's going forehand. Oh. Oh man, and he just ate. Exactly, I just lost two to like that. He just uh, yeah. ate one too many power bars right before the round. He, <laughs> that's another one he's turned over. Hopefully that stayed dry, but that one's definitely out, out of bounds. Oh, Brian is also juicing. He's in bounds though. He's in bounds, not quite to the sidewalk. Oh, is he gonna oh is he gonna get that oh. that flip or are we gonna see near miss number six? Oh, oh. just barely. Look at the the dance moves down there. All right, I think that's six near misses. No blood drawn. We're good to go. Okay, Central Coast after just narrowly staying in bounds. They've got a tricky approach here. It looks like they've got some trees to navigate. Whoa, Brian's shot on Coot Patrol. Let's see if Corey's got the little sidearm 
Flex, uh, a little short. Oh, man, they're, they've got some work left for their par save. Okay. Out, just barely outside circle one for Jomez Pro. Let's see their birdie attempt here. Michael with the straddle putt, lefty the shot. <laughs> Had the height yeah, yeah, just yeah, a yeah. little yeah. wide. This is gonna, this is gonna be a tough yeah. birdie attempt for these right, remaining two righties yeah, on the Jomez Pro team. They could, uh, they could gain an, yet another stroke with this one, possibly two, because Central Coast has a little, a little tester for par. Let's see what Jerry's got. Oh! Boy, I just broke everybody's eardrums. But it was worth it for that huge putt. Just straight as a string. Dead center putt, high fives. Wow. That's a birdie for the Jomez Pro crew. Central Coast still has about 20 something feet left for their par save. Luckily they've got Decent gap in the trees. Dude, Brian just jamming that putt dead center. All right, there we go. Another stroke for the Jomez Pro crew. They're up two after 11 holes. Let's see if they can hold on to it here with about, not about, exactly seven holes left. Let's see what they got. All right, hole 12 at Fountain Hills. A little downhill. Jomez Pro has the box after gaining three, right in three right. strokes in a row on three holes. Michael going with the lefty flick. And that, I think we'll go ahead and call that near miss number seven. Um, Ian Anderson picked up some grass and uh, let it fly to see where the wind was at. He told the Jomez guys uh, a little tailwind, but who knows, that could just be a part of the head games here. Let's see what Jerry's got. I think he's going AVR three. Right on the low right line. Look at that shot, just beautiful. And that's just a beautiful, slight baby hyzer. He's gonna be left with, he's actually long a little bit, maybe 20 feet. Jonathan going wide with the high speed. Oh, and he's playing the skip. And it looks like he might also be in circle one, too. They've, they've got two looks. Let's see which one's closer. We got Corey with the prime verdict. Ooh, smooth going slow. Baby Heiser. Loving it. Oh! Not bad, not bad at all. That's a good start for the Central Coast trio on hole 12. Let's see what Brian has. Is he going wide hyzer? Is he going tight hyzer? Is he going... Ooh, he's going tight hyzer. Straight at the basket. That could skip in. Oh, instead of the ace, park job. The crowd just losing their minds on hole 12. They need to they need to pace themselves because we've got about six more holes of action. Boom. Ian Anderson going going to the moon and back. Spikes it down onto the green. We're gonna have some birdie putts here on hole 12. Jomez Pro up by two strokes after 11 holes. Birdies? We'll see. Got about a 28 footer for their birdie on hole 12. Oh, Fouché over the top of the basket. Better to be strong than weak, in my opinion, on these putts. That's A for effort. Jonathan just, oh man, just utilizing the straddle putt, utilizing those that long, lanky frame. You know, I said it before, but you might not see a whole lot of, you know, quite the quality and output of videos later in the year as uh, Jonathan just, he's rising up the ranks at a meteoric pace. With putts like that, watch out. Uh, 
Paul, Macbeth, Ricky Wysocki, Simon Lazad, Eagle McMahon. Watch out. Well, the little girl surrounded by butterflies is not a mandatory. You can. There we yeah. go. Lefty Heiser. Big. Nice. Huge. Okay. Missed mandatories. No two meters or water found. Jerry can capitalize here off of that. Oh, and he does. He's going through the tree. Gets a skip. Little roll. He's gonna he's set he set the team up for a uphill circle one birdie look. And let's see, I don't know. This this hole might be too short for for Jonathan here. I don't know if he's got anything slow enough in his bag for this shot. Oh, good stop. He's just look at that. He's just getting getting riled up, getting fired up for this shot with these tee pads that he so loves. <laughs> Lulling his competitors into a false sense of security. They think they think that he just I mean his competitors think that, you know, oh man, he's gonna have trouble, but there it is. Just amazing low shot and what do you know? He's outdrove another hole. Shirt. What does that guy have? Two thousand can we zoom in on this guy's shirt? Two thousand one US Open. It I don't know, it looks like it looks like tetherball. I'm gonna say this we've got avid tetherball fans out here in Fountain Hills. Back to the action. Johnny Disc Golf. A little low on the low skip shot. Gets a sh early skip and they're gonna be a little short, but that's okay. Triples format, in case, in case you forgot, triples format. They've got two more players. Brian, could he be the Central Coast MVP? Whoa, just navigating the tree branches like a, like a falcon. And I think Brian's inside circle one for Central Coast. Ian has free, he's free to ace run this and he goes through the tree, high, just doesn't quite punch as far as he needs to. He's a little short, but I think we've got a couple birdie looks from both teams here on hole 13. Let's see if they can capitalize. Jomez Pro is up two strokes through 12 holes. Oh, and Brian's shot looks like it skipped a little long, but I think he's right on the edge of circle one. Oh. Once again, A for effort. You can't be too mad at missing high on, on those long putts. And it does look like the Jomez Pro team is inside circle one as well. They've got about 25 feet. Oh, Johnny Disc Golf. I think he's, it looks like he's on that putt. They've got a little right to left head cross wind. And with that righty hyzer putt, just kind of picks it up a little bit too much. Let's see if Ian can read that line and correct off it. Oh, oh boy, ooh, oh dang, count it. Uh, high fives, dead center, 30 footer from Ian Anderson, and he's just gonna run it down, a delayed run, just, I mean, not a whole lot you can do when, uh, when your competitor just slams a 30 footer into the headwind right in your face. Let's see if Fouché Respond. Oh no! Another big germ X out right there. Just a little strong on the left side. Jonathan from 25 feet. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. We've just got putts just going in from everywhere here. A couple more birdies for these two teams. I don't know. The if you ask me, based on these past few holes, the uh, oh hey GQ GQ live behind the scenes. Um, I don't know if you ask me the the landscape for professional disc golf coverage in 2018 is not looking too good as these guys are just hitting their stride out here at Fountain Hills. If I were them, I would uh, get that PayPal 
going and sign up for a few of these events coming up here. We've got an interesting tea here. We've got cement on the right side with a little crescent of grooved concrete and about a 370, 380 foot shot. Fouché just airing one out. Heiser, that's gonna stay in bounds. This hole's playing a little tough. It's got a little bit of a headwind. Once again, triples format. <laughs> Fouché inbounds. Both Gomez's have a chance to put their shots close and perhaps get another birdie. They've got a two stroke lead after 13 holes. Jerry going the direct route. But it's coming out a little, coming out a little oh, quick. Yes, oh, wow. And we almost had near miss number eight for the round. But <laughs> Jomez Pro and perhaps a few of those old ladies down there saved by a palm tree. Jerry inbounds. See what Jonathan's got here. And wouldn't you know it, he is just ripping on his discs. That's coming in right next to the basket, right in front of the chains. And despite the hyzer angle on this fast green, that disc just sticks 20 feet from the basket. No skip whatsoever. Check that man's pockets for pine tar. That thing got real grippy. Corey loving the sidearm line, but he's just he needs to lay off those 12 pound dumbbells. He just told me uh, earlier, he just hit the off season running full speed. And uh, he's just got to get some new discs. Maybe some that are a little more than 160 class. Brian going low lefty line, but looks like it's safe. I don't know, we got a pedestrian up there who, I don't know, he's running up. I think he wanted that disc. Ian with the hyzer flip, getting a little turn the, into the headwind. Oh, but is it going to sit? Oh, and it does. Bounce. They're going to have an uphill 35 to 40 footer for birdie. Jonathan's sitting pretty at about 20 feet. Ooh. Ian Anderson leads his Central Coast team to a 48 foot look for birdie. Corey giving it his best. Comes up a little short, but he's right under the basket. That is a 99.999% par chance. Oh, no. Ian had the juice, but just hung it out a little bit too right, too far right. Hopefully, he can uh, shake that one off. Brian putting it up there as well. And that leaves the door open for the Jomez Pro team. They're within, I would say, about 20 feet for birdie. Let's see if Fouché can connect right here and open up the lead to three strokes over Central Coast. Ian Anderson behind the camera, shaking in his boots, wiping off a drop after drop of sweat. And Fouché once again with the big germ patented X out. X out. <laughs> referring to combining both the Mach X and Chain Out. Just brutal. 20 feet for birdie. Jerry sneaks it in over the top rim. That's a birdie for the Jomez Pro Crew on hole 14. They've got a three stroke lead with four holes to go. We'll see if they can hold on out here at Fountain Hills. I was, I was going to hit you. Okay, all 15, Fountain Hills. Upwards of 435 feet. Fouché just unleashing, unleashing on hole 15. Right in the middle of the fairway, ooh. Shrugging off the haters there.
Jerry going for the low flex line. Gets under the tree. Can he find a skip? Oh, and he does. Look at that. All right. No height, but no trees at the same time. So not to worry, though. Jonathan Gomez has just guns of steel, and he's just ripping on his disc almost too hard. But really, are you too surprised by that at this point? Is there any disc out there that can contain Jonathan Gomez's monstrous biceps? Doubtful. Brian, oh my gosh, Lo just amazing lefty shot. Ooh, and that's, that is gonna give Central Coast a long putt for birdie. All right. Not a bad start at all. Ooh, looks like Ian Anderson is lining up the roller. Oh, lovely. Oh, but he gets it down, but just a little bit too much flip on that one. He's laughing at me because he was actually, he says he was actually going for the spike hyzer. <laughs> I don't know. The camera has... Uh, Interesting on, things. That's beefy. Uh, one. Corey. That's the one out of his bag. Oh. Corey borrowing okay. discs from other players mid-round. Doesn't quite pay off for him the way it usually does. But he's down there. He's got not a bad shot. Just, you know, not a bad shot at all. Maybe he's right. Maybe feet out. 70 feet out for their birdie look. On hole 15. Ooh. Okay. Fouché has laid it up right under the basket. Looks like John and Jerry have chances to run this to their heart's content. Oh, jump putt just, just a little bit wide. <laughs> oh boy, and Central Coast team over here on the, on the left, they're uh, resorting to a little bit of trash talk here. They know the stakes are high and they're down three strokes Four to go. They've got a chance to, to pick one up here. Jerry's going to go rock three putt to try and get a little extra right to left action. He's also got some crosswind to help. It's, oh, decent line, just not quite enough juice. Not quite enough juice. And, you know, they, they both thought it was going to stay up, but only so much that'll do for you. Corey, oh, from almost the same distance, maybe a little closer. Well, we'll say, we'll say 65. Yeah. Brian just absolutely pumped that drive. Let's see if he can make the putt for the solo bird. Oh boy. Oh no. Great line right off the top. Oh, man, they really could have used that one. Ian's also got a line on it. Oh, no. Wow. And that one. Oh, watch out. Swing. Ow. Ow. Oh, you guys are actually bendy for this old guy. We're here on hole 16. Hole 15, we saw a few long attempts for birdie, but not Couple metal hits, but not quite any uh, success. A uh, couple tap-ins right. for both teams. Yeah. With three holes left, right Jomez on. Pro Go is up arm. three strokes on Central Coast. Oh, wrong this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. And we're got, we've got a we've got a Mando in the middle of the fairway here. The players have to navigate to the right of the palm trees in the middle of the fairway. Not exactly ideal for a lefty backhand. Looks like Fouché is going with the forehand. Lefty forehand, that's a little more like it. Let's see if he's got the distance for this one. Oh, it's got a chance. Oh, just a little short and a little left. It's a tough spot. Kind of puts the pressure on, on his teammates here. <laughs> 
field. Luckily, though, these these two gentlemen have healthy angle. backhand highs of shots in their repertoire. Oh, no. Jerry with the early release. And he might have missed the mandatory. Jonathan with the pressure. Is he? Will he keep his foot on the gas and try to play tight around the mando trees? A couple other park goers just enjoying their Sunday afternoon. Oh, Jonathan, it's got a great line on it. Maybe a little wide if, if it gets, oh no. Not quite the skip he was hoping for. The wind is not gonna let And the wind, as Jonathan points out so eloquently, the wind is not gonna let you skip out here. Let's see what Central Coast has going. Wow, Ian, Ian just threading the needle. Oh boy. Lovely shot. He's going to be in circle one. Wow, and he, even he is surprised by his own prowess. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, oh, he tried to miss the Mando. Interesting strategy. I mean, as a professional myself, I'm always trying to learn, and that's an interesting tidbit of information. Corey, Corey's really... Corey and Brian, you know, Ian really set them up. They, they need some strokes. They might as well go for go for the ace on this one. But Corey hangs it out a little wide, and the wind won't let you skip. Brian going for the roller. Can he get the turnover roller bounce off the dog into the basket? Not quite. I meant to do it that time. And yes, this was an intentional roller compared to hole 10, very much intentional. Jomez Pro has about 25 feet into the headwind for birdie. Oh, Fouché, oh no. Duh, not what you want there. Putting the pressure on his teammates. But as we've seen throughout the whole round, these guys are, they're, they're Putting stroke is really heating up. Let's see if Jerry can convert. Oh no! Oh no, just a little left. A little left, not quite gonna catch there. Jomez Pro is up three with this putt and two more holes. They could close the gap a little bit. Oh no. Man, oh, <laughs> nice upshot up by Jonathan Gomez. Although, I don't know, you can uh, be the judge on, be the judge for yourself, but circle one is not exactly the place to, to be going for upshots. And there you have it. Central Coast gains a stroke on Jomez Pro. And there's two holes to go. The gap is two strokes. Jomez Pro has the advantage, but we've got a big bomber downhill for hole 17 and hole 18. As you might know, at Fountain Hills, anything could happen. Anything could happen, hole 18. Hole 17, Central Coast has taken the pad for the first time on the back nine, gaining a stroke on hole 16. They're down two. Corey with the huge forehand flex shot. Swings it out wide, gets a skip. Oh boy. Ooh, and the crowd just, oh man, golf claps, high fives. Just great shot by Corey. Central Coast off to a good start on hole 17. Let's see what Brian's got here. Ah, a little low and a little turned over. Corey's is definitely closer. To the basket. <laughs> oh, oh no, and Ian somehow slipped on this tee pad on hole 17. Gets a decent skip, but once again, Corey's was hard to beat on that one. Corey from Central Coast is just outside circle one on his drive, giving Central Coast a look for birdie. Fouché ripping that Flex shot, nice and low line, gets a good skip. 
That's, that's going to be an easy up and down for par for Jomez Pro. Let's see. I think Jerry and Jonathan can, uh, they'll either get a little closer or, or they'll come up a little farther away from the basket. One of the two. Jerry just a little low. We've got a little bit, we've got a helpful wind out here on hole 17. A little right to left, a little tailwind. Um, but Jerry just a little low, doesn't quite utilize the wind to its full potential. Let's see what uh, Jonathan's got. Hopefully he doesn't throw it in the water long on this one. Oh no! And he scoops it, scoops it left. And that thing is just going for days. Oh man. Got a couple skips, but I think it's dry. Oh, man. Okay, and we're back. Hole 17 at Fountain Hills. Corey from Central Coast is just outside circle one. Jomez Pro right in the middle of the fairway, but we've got a long approach for, for birdie. Possible skip shots here. Boucher taking advantage of that wide open lefty gap. And all right, and he sets his team up right near the basket for an easy par save. Jomez Pro still has two strokes on Central Coast, but this is hole 17, and there's a possibility for a one stroke swing here. Jerry playing the sidearm skip, but just doesn't quite put the juice on it to get that flare. That was a bad run. <laughs> <laughs> and possibly a little too harsh on himself, Jerry, telling me that that was a, quote, bad run, unquote. And it looks like Jonathan's just going to go straight up, toss uh, here. Wider. Oh, needs to put it out a little wider it. to the right. That was it. Ah. Just outside, circle one, Johnny Disc Golf for Central Coast. They could really use this putt right here. They're down two strokes on hole 17. Oh, wow, look at that. Just fist pumps all around. Dead center from Johnny Disc Golf, AKA Corey Merle. Ooh, oh, and look at that. Just lovely sportsmanship from the Joe Mez. Crew, crew, and that looks like uh, another stroke, two strokes and two holes. Jonathan's here to, to clean up the par. Looks like he's, I think he's got this all today. Yep, and there you have it, another stroke for the Central Coast crew. Jomez Pro is only up one with one hole to go, and we've seen it plenty of times in the past, anything can happen on hole 18 out here at Fountain Hills, especially with a ripping headwind, water all along the side of the fairway, and what looks to be a family enjoying their Sunday afternoon with kites and picnic blankets right in the middle of the fairway. Who knows what could happen? This hot pink mic cover, though, is on point. Okay, hole 18, final hole of the Central Coast versus Jomez exhibition match. It's come down to this one stroke advantage for Jomez Pro, and look at this just world class high fiving going on right here. You just gotta love it. Wow, wow, just amazing. All right, we've got hole 18, we've got headwind, we've got water, we've got a little bit of a sunset right in there, in the eyes. And to top it all off, Thank you. we've got a family just enjoying their Sunday afternoon out at beautiful Fountain Park in Fountain Hills, Arizona. And we're doing our best to, uh, to let them know we've got a couple, couple discs coming in. Hopefully they're not too upset <laughs> because really this is just a picture perfect day, 72 and a half degrees little to no humidity nice little breeze to uh top it off unfortunately just a little too strong i'm sure everybody was hoping to see that beautiful 
thousand foot tall fountain that yes as a matter of fact is the first and only fountain that you can see from space thank you wikipedia for all the fact checking today for the central coast versus jomez exhibition match oh and look at that we've got the picnic has cleared out not the ducks though Corey is just oh, ripping the forehand, but could it possibly get long across and be safe? No, sadly no. And he waves farewell to that disc, thanks it for all its years of service. Unfortunately, he will probably never see that ever again. Brian, coming in clutch, coming in clutch with the lefty at Heisler, that is inbounds, which is crucial on hole 18, even in triples format. Unless you've got a team of like 1,020 rated pros. Ian going big flex shot. Could it keep turning and hold? Oh, get that reverse skip off the water. No, not today, unfortunately. And yeah, for those of you keeping track at home, that was Ian Anderson's first wet shot of the day. Unfortunately, it came on one of the most crucial holes on the course, hole 18. Fouché doing his best, Nate Sexton. Actually, both Sextons really do the little disc spin on their finger before throwing it. Crushing the hyzer. Does it have the air to get back in bounds? Oh, and it hits the gunite and rolls in. So close. Oh, and the gallery is just laughing in his face. How cruel can one gallery be? Goodness gracious, their Fountain Hills residents are just so accustomed to stellar golf out here at Fountain Park that any time a shot goes in the water, they just can't help but chuckle. Jerry, Jerry with the ninth and hopefully final near miss of the round. Yep. Everybody's safe though. Oh, and Jonathan just going for it. Oh no. In the water. Luckily for the Jomez team. Jerry narrowly avoids the spectators and stays in bounds. That could be the saving grace for this Jomez team. They've got one stroke on the Central Coast crew in this California versus Texas matchup. Brian's up there. He's on maybe 70 feet out. It really just all comes down to this approach on the final hole. Let's see what happens. Still got about 130, 150 feet left to the basket. Fouché with the lefty advantage here. Nice and clean. That's up there. And with the nice little roll, that could secure the par save and force Central Coast to run their birdie putts from long. Now Jerry and Jonathan have a chance to just close this out and just run away with the victory. And just Jerry going for the sidearm. Uh, Definitely not in the basket. Let's just hope it stays dry. Yep, stays dry. Safe. Okay. Jonathan for the win. He's going for going for the hyzer. Let's see if he's got gonna give this one a run. Takes it out a little wide. He's playing the fade. Oh, skips just past the basket. Fairway. Central Coast has about 80 feet. Ian Anderson giving the pep talk to the troops, telling them to Nico up. And I can only imagine that that means that they need just a humongous putt for birdie and for the tie. Oh, Corey giving it a great run, just a little bit, a little bit wide. Let's see what Brian's got here. He's, I think he's running and gunning this one. Nothing to lose. Oh. Good power, just holds on to it a little bit. The crowd, crowd is uh, giving respect where respect is due. 
Ian with the last chance for Central Coast. So close. Oh, man. Wow. And props from his teammates and competitors. So close. All right. Putt for the win. Central Coast versus Jomez. Jonathan with the winning putt from 12 feet. Oh, and look at this. For, to celebrate the win, the fountain has erupted for the first time in hours. Oh, look at that. What a historic storybook finish. A comeback victory after being down three strokes after five holes. Jomez Pro Crew has emerged victorious after a tumultuous back nine with birdies abound. And where, where there you have it. Just a beautiful end to a beautiful day and a beautiful match between two beautiful teams of beautiful individuals and golfers throwing beautiful discs into beautiful baskets on a beautiful landscape. Wow. Could you ask for much more on such a beautiful day? Just this glorious finish to this match. Jomez Pro crew. I think they were, I think you guys were under par. What, do we have a final tally oh, yeah, for the score? Tally. We do know that it was a one stroke victory. Yeah. Threes uh, on the final uh, 49 hole. To 50. Wow, 49 to 50 in this triples match. All regulation tees and mandos and OBs. Look at that. Just a lot of discs in the water. Lots, lots of lost discs. At least two, maybe three. High. I lost three. Yeah, my Just last one's uh, my favorite turn that I was bombing. That's in the water. Now, oh, so. no, that's my Shrek. It's also in the water. Yeah. Wow, yes. there you have it. That Just. Was fun. Two great team captains, two, two favorite discs just dunked about a collective 70 feet straight into the water. <laughs> I demand a rematch. <laughs> oh, and there you go. There we go. We'll get it going. You heard it here first, a rematch. Man, just look at that fountain. Beautiful. Final score for this Central Coast versus Jomez exhibition match. Jomez Pro 49, Central Coast 50. Thanks to AJ for Thanks, commentating. AJ. Yeah, and, you know, taking time out of his busy schedule. And look at that. They are great behind the camera and they're great actors in front of the camera because we <laughs> all know that they absolutely despised me talking through every one of their shots. Whatever, guys. That's cool. I'm just going to stare at this fountain and let all my troubles blow away into the mist. Wow. Tune in next time. As that drone flies ever close to the water. Careful, that drone's getting too close. Oh my gosh. What a way to. Oh my god, look at it. Holy crap. Oh no! Oh wow. All right, who knows what the next Central Coast versus Jomez matchup will be, but for all of us here at Fountain Hills, let's watch some disc golf next day, all day, all that good stuff. Look at that fountain.